Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you're not seen these series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. Ooh, so once more, I've been pretty busy just trying to settle in. You know, we're still unpacking. I Thankfully, this area is like 95% done. Um, I'm actually going to be ordering, hopefully, like some room dividers and like some panels to like cut down on the echo in here because I know it is pretty loud still. Um, but all the books are unpacked, all the furniture is here. So thankfully, like most of that is done. I um, mean, hopefully I get those panels, you know, in the next couple of weeks so that we won't have too many videos with it being too echoey. Do I have any updates? I think I have one update. Um, um, I went to our local CVS and we've been trying to like explore our new local area. Um, so I've been testing out the eyeshadow palettes on my eyes today for the most part anyway, the glitter or the, the liquid shadow and the lid is not from this palette, but the Charlotte Tilbury quads, I did a spotlight empty palettes with them a while ago and like they were kind of like trash in, in the way that I was using them. So I'm experimenting with them using them different ways. So this is the Walk of No Shame palette. This is the one I'm wearing on my eyes today. So I was testing this out and when I happened to go to that CVS, I found this palette. So this is from Flower Beauty. Beauty, and this is the Petal Play Shadow Quad. So let me see if I hold them like these. <laughs> They're very, very similar. Um, so I have that not actually used this Flower Beauty palette yet. I literally just got it like yesterday or the day before. Time is an illusion, um, but I'm excited to test this out. So it is gonna push back the uh, the second Spotlight on Petite Palettes video a little bit, just because I actually am excited about using this and I wanna see whether or not it's an actual dupe for this palette here. Um, so yeah, so I think that's the only update. I was trying to also find um, the new Physicians Formula product because I know they came out with a putty primer and a matte um, bronzer or a matte version of their butter bronzer, um, but none of my local drugstores have that collection out yet, so I think I'm just going to have to wait. Um, that or, if, I don't know, maybe in a few weeks I might place an online order with Physicians Formula, but I'm trying to, but I'm trying to like not jump into Rex. But I'm trying not to just jump in. <laughs> Did you hear a car? Did you? Rex, come here. Did you hear a car? Did it Did it beep at you? Here, lay down right here. There you go. Um, but I'm trying not to immediately go in and like just bun buy a whole bunch of makeup. Eventually I will be doing a haul. I really want to do a Shop Miss A haul and then maybe another drugstore kind of haul. Um, but for right now I'm trying to hold myself back. But eventually I do want to get those new Physicians Formula products. You know, the, the putty primer and the, the matte kind of collection. So I'm excited about those. Um, other than that, I think those are the only updates to my collection that I have so far. So let's pull up Trend Mood and start going through these new releases gonna scoot a little bit we've got my beautiful little bookshelf back here full of eyeshadow palettes and trend mood where are you I got some Dr. Pepper because I'm kind of tired I mean I'm old I'm kind of tired it's like 6 30 at night and I'm like sleepy what the hell okay so there's another Disney collab I, I feel like at this point I is anyone else sick of all the Disney collabs? They're just kind of bananas at this point. Um, this is with Spectrum Collections. Um, never heard of that. Anyway, they're just eyeshadow brushes. as an Ursula kit and an Ariel kit. Yeah, yeah. Can we just stop? Okay, these are kind of cute. I mean, I don't need them, but they're kind of cute. <laughs> For Valentine's Day, it looks like Etude is doing a collab with Hershey's, specifically the Hershey Kisses. These look hella cute. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're neutral because they're chocolate. So like, I can get that. They're really cute looking. I like the shape of the palettes and that whole kit, you know, the full set with, you know, all of the all of the palettes it looks adorable i'm not gonna you know actually go out and buy these but they're cute you know and if it, if there were any of the food collabs that were to make sense a hershey's kiss collab valentine's day yeah right there okay now this this is actually um really wanting me really making really making me want to place another order with this indie brand so make up a murder which is a brand that i love i have a few of their products specifically their first eyeshadow palette i have they've come out with a volume two of that palette a valentine's day palette and then now this palette this is called burner phone and it looks like a flip phone which 
I don't know if I'm aging myself, but in middle school and the very beginning of high school, I had a little flip phone. It was the Razer phone. Remember how cool those were? <laughs> when you can see like the time on the front of the phone, you didn't have to open your phone or, you know, just see the time. But um, I really want this palette. It looks cute. I like the colors and I just, I love this brand in general. So I really want this palette. I also want the rest of their palettes, the Valentine's Day palette and the volume two, which is kind of the neutral -y palette. I want all of them. <laughs> I also want a bunch of their others. They've got like these neon pigments. Um, I've got their eyeshadow tape already. I want to try a couple of, I want to just basically try everything from this brand. <laughs> so eventually I will be doing a haul. Um, but I am happy that like, it seems like all these new releases are permanent and they're not making anything limited edition. So I do have the time to go back and pick them up. Cause also, um, I believe the, uh, this was already sold out and came back in stock, I think. And I think each one of their palettes, I believe has sold out at some point. So I'm really excited to actually get this and, do a whole video. I think I did a video about the first palette. I believe I did. If I can find it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I don't know if I want to do one video with all of the palettes, like as a, a brand overview, once I actually have enough products on the brand to do a full video, or if I should do like one palette per video. Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, so of course, there's another ColourPop collection. This is called Wild Child. Um, yeah, and just another neutral collection with weird packaging. I feel like... I don't know, when do you think ColourPop is gonna like crash and burn? Like, I wonder if they're like still making as much makeup as they were in the beginning. I mean, not makeup, <laughs> as much money as they were in the beginning. Like, I'm wondering when it's gonna like, when the when the ColourPop bubble is going to burst. That's what I'm wondering, you know? Cause they, I don't think they can keep doing this forever. I mean, I don't think so, but hmm. Because is anyone else annoyed by the fact that they're literally throwing things out and they're coming out in such limited quantities and so quickly that even if I wanted any of their releases, I couldn't get them? Like, what's the point of a brand that way, right? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm sick of these. I know everyone, I remember there was a time where it's like things would be called limited edition and then we'd be upset that they weren't actually limited edition because they were just saying that to make you buy things. But it's like the opposite problem with ColourPop now. Like, none of their stuff stays in stock. And unfortunately, they're just like, you know, the makeup fast fashion, the fast fashion of makeup. I don't know. I, I don't like it because for me, affordable makeup, I feel like you could have collections that are limited edition, right? But when literally every collection, every product you come out with is only here for a limited time, only a few people can get it, and then you never restock it, like what? What's the point of your brand? Why would I, as a consumer, or even more so, why would I, as a YouTube creator, buy your products if they're never available and I can't even get my hands on them and not a lot of people can get their hands on them anymore? Like, I feel like, unfortunately, ColourPop fell so far. They had so many great palettes, you know, back at the beginning with the Yes Please, with the Good Sport. And now it's, I'm just so sick of ColourPop. And even if I wanted any of their products, I know now I wouldn't be able to get them. So what's the point? Okay, so I saw this and I I thought this was already a product, um, but I guess Pat McGrath is coming out with a Valentine's collection and this is the Divine Rose 2 collection. Oh, it is. Okay, so the big palette is the same and then I think the quad is, yeah, the quad is new and the highlighter, the matte liquid lipsticks. Okay. So the big palette is the same. That's why I was confused. This is actually the one I was pretty interested in for a while. I don't think I'm going to buy a big Pat McGrath palette anytime soon. But if I were to get one, I think it'd be that one. It looks really pretty. The quad, it's just a couple of pinks. I'm sure I've got those shades. The highlighter looks very pretty. I gotta admit, that looks gorgeous. But I know I don't need it, so... Hmm. Okay. Why is Hourglass coming out with skincare? Ugh. <sighs> Who gives a shit about Hourglass anymore anyway, though? All right, so Clinique is coming out with a foundation with, I think, one of the worst shade ranges I have ever seen. What the fuck is this? Jesus. They're not even trying. <sighs> and it's $42. And they're trying to say, oh, it's $42, and we have 42 shades, but 40 of those shades are beige. Ugh, what the hell, Clinique? Okay, so I've never actually tried this foundation and I guess it's being reformulated. This is the Huda Beauty, the new and improved faux filter luminous matte foundation. First of all, what? Luminous matte? 
who the fuck knows second of all um this is 40 dollars. it looks like an okay shade range you know not the best but also it's not clinique right um i'm kind of curious now that i'm like i'm a bit settled and I've, i'm seeing like my foundation collection is actually kind of small i do want to pick up one or two foundations which actually i think i'm gonna do a video soon Maybe when we get closer to the Sephora sale for the spring, um, I need to clean out my loves list at Sephora. And a bunch of the products in there are foundations because I was just kind of, whenever I had some free time and I wanted to window shop, I would just look at foundations just because I really like them. Um, so I don't know about this. I'm kind of curious because I've never tried anything from Huda, like base product wise. And I don't know how it'd be. I think honestly, I'm just like really confused by what luminous matte is supposed to be. Anyway. All right, here here we are with one more PSA, and this actually looks exactly like it. Kylie's skin is coming out with a lip oil. It's $22. How about you don't get this lip oil for $22, and instead there's one from Shop Miss A that's literally the exact same packaging, but I think the Shop Miss A one looks a little bit cuter. It's a dollar. Don't, I think first of all, we could just say don't buy anything Kylie's skin, right? Uh, second of all, don't buy this lip oil. Buy either get a chapstick or get the one from Shop Missy for a dollar, please. Okay, so Lime Crime is coming out with liquid aligners. These look cute. Okay, so there are a bunch of different colors. How much are they? Ooh, they're eighteen dollars. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I really like the idea of the white one. Yeah, I don't know. Eighteen dollars is a bit steep for a liner. What do you guys think? Actually, you know, I'm thinking um, instead of getting like liners like this, because I do want to do a little bit more some some more dramatic looks. Um, I was thinking of those cake palettes from Midas. Has anyone tried those? Because I've seen people do some beautiful looks with those, and then it might be a little bit easier to store because they're like I, I think they're water activated. They're the water alcohol activated. So I don't know. I'm on the fence there, but I'm definitely not going to be getting eighteen dollar liners. Ugh, so another color pop collection i honestly i cannot be bothered so here it is i don't give a shit <laughs> okay so this i i know this is basic and i know like i don't need this but like i want it i want this i want this this is the natasha denona valentine's day collection and it's a mini love palette it's got and then like this cute like cheek blush and highlighter thing that i really want um, and then the lipstick I don't care about. But like the palette, the eyeshadow palette, the shades look so pretty. And I love the pink packaging. Damn it. I love the pink packaging. It's so cute. And then I love the packaging of that little face duo. I want that face duo. The mini love palette is $25. And then the cheek duo is $42. Which, you know, for Natasha, it's not terrible. Do I need these? No. No, I do not. They're cute and I really want them though. <laughs> Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna give BH Cosmetics like a little bit of credit here because this is the first brand I think I have seen come out with an actual new product for Chinese New Year as opposed to just repackaging an existing product in red packaging. Um, so this is the Lunar New Year 2021 edit and it looks like it's actually a collab with what looks like a Chinese influencer, which is actually, wow. <laughs> it took someone, it took a brand this long to do that. Wow. Um, but the palette, I have to say, it actually looks really nice. I've got like these really pretty, of course, you've got those red tones, those bright tones, and then you've got like random pops of like lime in a deep green. I actually really want this palette. It's intriguing. It's not just like a boring kind of neutrally red tone warm palette. It's got depth to it. <sighs> wow. I'm surprised at how much I liked this. It looks like there's also like some glitters, some um, lashes, and I think a liner. But the palette itself, I really love this palette. I, I think it's limited edition. And the palette's also only $21 because it's BH Cosmetics. Yeah, it does not say it's limited edition, but I'm pretty sure it is since A, it's a collab and B, it's for Lunar New Year. But like, I really, I want the palette. Ooh, okay. So Pixie is coming out with some new products. Now, I just finished filming. Um, actually, it should be up. So I'll have it up in the cards. I did a big Pixie review. I got a whole bunch of products like as a gift from a few friends of mine. I also bought a bunch of Pixie products and I tested them all and I really 
went nitty gritty to see whether or not I thought Pixie was worth the price. Because here in the US, Pixie products are like up there at Sephora prices, like $18 liners, $25, $30 palettes. It's kind of bananas. Um, so check out that video. Uh, but overall, I, I did not think the majority of the products lived up to that price point and to that hype. Um, so here we see they're coming out with some new eyeshadow palettes. And personally, I specifically thought the eyeshadows were very underwhelming. So I don't want anything to do with these eyeshadow palettes. I think that's a big lip palette. Who needs a lip palette that big? Okay, so it's supposed to be a cream lip or cheek palette. No one needs a palette that big with cream products. Jesus. Yeah, the only thing I actually would kind of look into are those face masks that come in like tubs, kind of like lush tubs, you know? But mm, what do they have? They have a Rose Remedy mask. They have a Vitamin C Remedy mask. And then they have a Milky. Oh, why, why do they keep doing the Milky things? That just sounds so gross. But no, not interested really in any of that. Oh, so this I'm actually pretty interested in, but I have no idea when or if I'd be able to get my hands on it. Angelica Nyquist um, collabed with Kaleidos makeup and made this beautiful palette. Um, I have to say, I picked up her last collab with uh, Davina, and I do like those shades. I like that she's, she's, she's got a really great eye for color, um, and this palette is stunning. Um, so congrats on this palette. I have no idea if it's already um, sold out or not, but I love the color story. I like the packaging. I just know, I know that it'd probably be sold out. Um, and I'm very happy for her. So if this isn't limited edition, hopefully I can get my hands on it sometime in the future. I Okay, so here's a brand that I'm really confused and underwhelmed by. Uh, so One Size Beauty Patrick Stars brand. Um, they came out with some new products. So they've got a primer. Okay, that makes sense for the makeup brand to come out with a primer. But what are these under eye patch eyeshadow catchy things? I don't know. I feel like this brand has like the weirdest release priorities and schedule like ever. I don't know. It, yeah. Yeah, and personally the price point on these, it's, it's too high. Okay, so here's something that I've seen a lot of people talking about. Uh, Samantha Ravendahl, who I have to admit I don't watch her channel or really know anything about her, came out with a brand called a Glow by Auric. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, it is, it's a makeup brand. Um, and it looks like the launch included a, a Glow Lust Radiant Illuminizer. Um, so it's like a liquid... I'm trying to say highlighter that you can mix in with some stuff and then an eye duo compact with a mirror i have to say that compact looks basically it looks like the tom ford eye duo that i already have um so not super interested in those they have a couple of shades and then um it seems like i've got something similar in the other product in the charlotte tilbury film star uh is it called bronze and glow no it's not what is it called <laughs> Rex, the the flawless filter, the Hollywood flawless filter. So I think because I've got those similar products, I wouldn't be interested just on the products themselves. But also, like, I'm not a huge fan of Samantha. I, I don't think I've watched any of her videos before. Um, but if you've tried anything from the brand or if you watch her channel and you're interested, let me know down below what you think about the brand, like, as a whole. Because I'm coming at this from someone who has no idea really who she is. Um, so I'm interested to see from like someone who's maybe a fan of hers, whether you think the brand kind of fits in like her vibe and whatnot. All right, so Morphe's coming out with a new palette and it's just kind of, uh, well, it's a Morphe palette. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to buy anything from Morphe. I don't recommend you buy anything from Morphe. So do with that what you will. <laughs> Okay, so I was gonna pivot here. Normally I go through either, you know, Instagram pages that are just makeup news. This time I wanna switch to the Shop Miss A Instagram page just because I've seen a few new releases from them that I'm actually pretty excited about that I do wanna include in my upcoming haul because I love hauling Shop Miss A because everything's so affordable and so many of their products are like amazing. I've tested out a bunch of their products. I'll link up, I think, one of my most recent Shop Miss A videos above and I do have an affiliate link if you're interested. It's down the description box of all of my videos but don't feel like pressured to use that um, I do recommend shop Miss A outside of that link as well because some of their products are just amazing and I do want to do like an updated kind of favorites video which is why I'm going to be doing another haul coming up soon 
but uh, first of all, they're coming out with a new felt tip liner. So it's this pot liner. Um, I really love affordable liners, um, and I really want to get back into doing wings. I miss doing wings, like wing liner. So I want to get back into that, and I think this would be perfect for that. All right, next, they are coming out with their own sheet masks. Now, Shop Miss A did carry, oh, I don't know if they still do, I'm sure they probably do, um, a bunch of other kind of affordable brands of sheet masks. I personally love sheet masks, um, but now they're coming out with like their own AOA line of sheet masks, so I cannot wait to try these out. They have a whole bunch of different um, sheet masks, and these are biodegradable. Um, so they're better for the environment than your standard cheat mask. So I am excited to try those out. And again, it's $1.77 for each cheat mask. All right, and I think we will stop there for this week's BeWow. If there's any new releases that I missed that you want my opinion on, let me know down below or tag me on Instagram. That's where I do pull all of these makeup new releases to talk about, and I love it when I get tagged in products. It gets me excited to film and excited to see what you guys are keeping your eyes out for. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.